part started sucking some air with it. There you go, perfect. So I got that uh, recording there too. It's hanging through. Drew is oh, Drew Braun. Braun. Gotcha. Yeah. We got five laps in this one. So um, um, he said last time he came out here like just a few months ago. Yeah. There you go. Nice. Um, yeah. was that your first time kind of like here? Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. What did you drive last time, anyways? Uh, 911. GTRS, the okay. F12, the Performante, the NSX. Okay. I don't remember what else from there. So. Right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, always. Uh, GT, uh, GTR next to us. Oh, okay. Got that. Gotcha. I'm a Mercedes guy, so I liked it. Right, right. Man, you just go bigger than home when you do this. That's the way to do it, though. <laughs> I, yeah, I went light this time. I only did three. So. Oh, okay, yeah. gotcha. There you go. There you go. So, um, yeah, just the way I'll kind of be guiding around the track, of course, just like last time we were out here. Um, you know, orange cones, of course, braking zone. I'll let you know more or less brakes, too. Um, this car, once you get your speed going pretty good, you got to hit the brake pretty hard just because the pedal's so soft and the car's pretty heavy, too. Mm -hmm. um, that's one comment I get from a lot of people when they drive it. They're like, I didn't know you had to hit the brake that hard in this yeah. thing. Um, and so it's breaking to that first green reference point. I just like to call that one your turning point there. Um, from that one, um, with your racing background before, what, what have you done before? Uh, it's, you know, my racing background is, is different than most people's. It's right. mostly go-karts. I've owned a bunch of race cars. Oh, uh, okay. But I haven't been the driver in them. Right. So, you uh, know, I, I I, I've done track days and everything else, right. but I knew that I wasn't fast enough. Right, no worries. Okay, gotcha, so. gotcha. Um, yeah, I was just curious as far as, like, uh, terminology and everything. I spent four years with an uh, instructor. Okay. It, it's 20-some-odd races a year. Oh, okay. so, so sitting there and listening and going through it, yeah. Right, I got gotcha, you, gotcha. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I get it. So this one, um, you got to trail brake it pretty good to get down to the apex with it. Okay. Um, it's just so heavy on the front of the car, and the car has so much body roll if you snap off the brake pretty quickly. You know, which emotion wants to stay in motion, so it tends to understeer pretty bad on yep. the uh, entry of the corner. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, uh, when you're accelerating back out, same thing with the all-wheel drive system. If you do magnet a little too hard, you'll kind of lose your steering ability a little bit. You know, the front wheels will just kind of skip across the ground a little bit. Um, other than that, it's really about it as far as kind of the characteristics of this car. And if you break it all with any kind of steering input, it's just going to whip around like crazy on the back too. Hmm. Um, it's just so much weight sitting so yeah. high up with yeah. the roll. Yeah. Um, I'll let you know about traffic too with the mirrors. You won't have to worry about those again, of course. And I'll let you know it's okay and safe to pass people too. Okay. Um, paddle shifters, I'm guessing you want to do those? Yep. Okay, perfect. So yeah, this one they're going to move with the wheel too. And uh, right one's up, of course, and left one's back down there. Uh, not too much shifting in this one. Third gear to fourth gear down the straightaway, back to third gear the whole track too. Hmm. So yeah, not too bad. No. Um, other than all that though, did you have any questions though before we do get rolling? No. No? Okay, gotcha. We're perfect, good. perfect. So um, I got this little cooling box in front of us right there. That's just to kind of spray, you know, cool mm -hmm. air onto it. So I got the wheel cranked all the way to the right there. Uh, we'll just kind of make like a little bit of a right. We'll make a left and kind of cruise down there. See, there you go. Yeah, I got you on first, man. Yep. Yeah. Cool. All right. Yeah, you're clear on your right right here too. Yeah, right? Yeah. And we'll, we'll get cruise down here too. And as we're kind of cruising down here, you can feel the brake out a little bit too if you want. Well, the GT3 RS mm -hmm. took more brake pressure than I thought when, I, when, I, uh, when I drove. Right, right. I don't know if the brakes were just bad, but it, it was different. Yeah, the, this one's going to kind of have that same feeling with I, it for sure. I figured it was because they like yeah, you can okay modulate it better. Right. We'll go about that last blue cone right there, too. So you can see out better. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, you're clear, man. The whole track's okay. here pretty much. Okay. We'll just hug the right side of that blue line there. And there'll just be one up here, and then one more up to third. And then just using all the track out to that turning point, kind of filling the brake here if you want to. Getting as tight as you can to that apex. Using all the track back out, get a feel for the power a little bit. to your exit and just rolling in the power. We'll stay on your left side now. And it's breaking here. He's letting us pass on the inside. Okay. So you can pass into that apex on your right. We're just gonna hug the right side here. He's behind you. You're clear. And it's just a brush of the brake here. Now we're gonna turn man, this is the hardest here. one man. This corner here is so tough. Gotcha gotcha yeah I'll, I'll help you out that one there next time we get to it there. And it's breaking here just waiting a long time there you are, beautiful, tight as you can on this apex. It's out to the center, and back to your right side here now. And we'll stay to the right. Now it's just a brush of the brake, turning in now back on the power here. And braking all the way out to the green, a little bit harder. And a little more steering in. Yeah, she's a heavy girl. Yeah, she is. Yeah, and we'll wait for those hazard lights, but we'll stay right behind them now. You can get a little closer if you want to.
chip with your left hand. He's letting us pass on the left outside edge, so we'll stay tight to this apex. You can pass him on your exit now. Go for it. Yeah, you're clear. He's behind you. Let's break it right here firm. Just one down with your left hand, easing off the brake. We're going to stay to the right side. Wait for this first green reference point here with a little bit of brake here. About there. I'll kind of okay, guide you yeah, to that one. No worries. Too far in. No worries. We'll bring it to your left side here now. So it's braking and just waiting that long time. Easing room with the light bottle to the apex. And just let her float out wide from here. Beautiful. To your right side now. So just a light brake for balance. Turning it now back on the power. And then braking here. Straight light. Yeah, I've been braking so early there. That one right there, uh, you can't. Too early? That was almost a little early. Yeah, you can't go a little bit later right there. Okay. But still a little bit harder pressure though to kind of compensate. And it's just breaking here, which is one downshift. And just looking out to your exit already. See how it kind of tends to yeah, understeer a little bit? Yeah, it does. And we'll stay on your left side here. And then just breaking right here. Just one down with your left hand. Easing off the brake. So I'll kind of show you a little bit on this one. So this one, you got a green reference point on your right. You really kind of want to wait for that about there and then add your steering. Yeah, I'll make more of a straight okay. shot out to the center there. Does that kind of make a little more oh, sense? Yeah, absolutely. Perfect. And then just waiting. Excellent line. Tight as you can here. So now just let her come out wide and back to your right side now. So just a light break. Turning in now back on the power. Give it a little bit more. Keep going. And now breaking here straight now. A little more steering in. Back on the power. Now all the way out to your left side. And it's one up here. That one we'll try to break a little straighter there next time. Definitely. And then it's breaking right here. Just one down with your left hand. Easing off the brake. And we'll come out to the left side. I don't think she downshifted. You could get it here if you no, can reach it. No, I did it there. But it didn't do it. Yeah, it didn't do it right there. So it's breaking. Go ahead and down. There she goes. As tight as you can on that red and white, and just rolling in the power to your right side now. Just a brush of the brake, waiting, waiting. Beautiful, tight on your left. Then out to the center from here. Power, power, keep going, more power. And then braking here, then waiting, easing room with the light throttle here. Now just let her float out wide back to your right side. Just a brush of the brake, turning in here. Now back on the power. Now braking in a straight line. Now beautiful there. Tight as you can. A little more power. All the way out to your left side. There you are. Yeah, see how she kind of understands. Oh, yeah. It's braking here. Just one downshift. Just trailing off the brake to keep the weight up there. There she goes. I hit it too early. A little downshift. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes the revs have to drop a little bit. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. One more downshift, so just trailing off the brake, and then rolling in the power to your right hand side. Now brush of the brake right here, add a little more steering, she's going to find us, then to the center one last time here. And then it's braking right here, and that was actually the fifth one around in the GTR right there as well. So we're going to be exiting straight up here as you're going, we're just going to follow that path. You've done this a million times last time. <laughs> right, right. Like I said, uh, not good, but at the same time it's fun. That's all that matters though at the end, yeah. right? Yep. Also, you get a taste of every car and everything, right? That's really what it's about. It is, it is. I mean, how many places you get to, you know, do a la carte like this, right? <laughs> if this place was closer to me, I'd be broke. Right, right. Yeah, for real. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> no, I was spending like 10 grand a year just rental go-karts. Right, right. And we'll go on the left side of the Audi down here. Number 10 should be perfect. Nice thing about kind of these programs though too, it's always nice with the arrive and drive stuff because you know brakes, tires, fuel, whatever actually happens in the end too, you know, it's it's all good as far as like as far as like what you get it and grab it and go. <laughs> too much fun. What'd you think of this one kind of going around the track though? Big and heavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but you know expected, right? <laughs> yeah, it's it's what I expected. Right. It is. Right. Right. It's, it's an interesting car, like it works good. Just the only thing with this car I don't like is just the entrance of the corner. You really gotta kinda work it in. When you come out and as long as you get your exit lined up, you can just get on that throttle like, as hard as you can and it'll be okay, yeah. As far as kind of going around the track as maybe like a warm up though before your other two cars, how do you kind of feel with your line a little bit? It's all right. It's all right? Okay, yeah, gotcha, I, gotcha. Hey, I, I know I'm not going to be fast. <laughs> no worries. It, it's, uh, like I said. Right, right. No worries, man. Uh, I'll grab you this little video card too. 